Hey everyone, Poindexter here. The month of October has begun, and so has the halfway point in our campaign. We've got plenty of German squadrons to deal with, and a new U-boat-focused secondary mission. So, let's get started. We start the month off with 9 SO points. We add our 15 weekly SO points, but remove 3 points for the U-boat presence, for a final total of 21. We're going to use 16 SO points to purchase the B-24s of the 44th Bomb Group. By default, the group begins at the recruit level, but we're going to spend 4 more SO points to promote the group to green level which leaves us with one SO point. Because of the U-boat focus on our new secondary mission, we're going to need a bomber group that can carry a lot of bombs. Their added ability to conduct anti-submarine missions is also a benefit. Plus, looking at the future statistics of the 44th group, we see that this particular group gains experience much quicker than the B-24s of the 93rd and its air-to-ground stats increase quickly as well, making it a strong asset to our bomber fleet. But, since we now only have one SO point left, we cannot purchase enough special bombs this week to make much of a difference. So, we'll be sending our groups to bomb airfields once again. For our first airfield busting mission this week, we'll be headed to Airfield 6 in Angers, France. The target is located in Hex 7. Our plan is to head straight to the target and back, passing over Hex 10 in the process, which means we could run into German fighters. The target allows four bomber groups. Flak over the target is fairly light, but there is no air-to-ground modifier for this airfield. The target is worth four victory points, and will need to cause 12 points of damage to destroy it. Although the target allows four bomber groups, we're only going to use three, for reasons I will explain later. Since we're going to be short of bomber group, we're going to take our most experienced groups on this mission in order to have the best chance of destroying the target in one trip. The 305th group, with their plus one air-to-ground modifier, will lead the mission, followed by the 97th, also with a plus one air-to-ground stat, and our new group the 44th, will bring up the rear. The skilled pilots of the 4th Fighter Group will escort. All groups will be armed with M30 bombs. We place our mission counters on the main map and our group counters on the mission map. We roll for the German response and it's a 4, modified to 2, another poor response. Our groups form up over England and begin their journey. The event card draw is Weather Updates. Weather in the target zone is worse than expected and we'll have to apply a minus two modifier to our air to ground rolls. A disappointing card draw for sure. The formation crosses the French coast and one German squadron is activated. However, the intercept is ineffective as we draw no bandit counter. The German squadron marker is flipped to its one turn rearming side and the formation arrives over the target area. The rearming German squadron is flipped to its active side and our groups begin their bomb runs. First up is the 305th. The group flies through the flak and the roll is a five modified to four for durability. The 305th bombs with a plus one modifier, 
we add plus two for the M30s, but subtract two for the event card for a final plus one modifier. The 305th drops her bomb load. And it's a complete bust. No bomb damage is caused on modified rolls of three, three, and four. The 97th group is next, and they fly through a flat barrage. And the flat gunners find the range on an eight, modified to seven, which causes one point of damage. The 97th bombs with a plus one modifier. We add plus two for the M30s and apply a minus two for the event card for a final plus one modifier. The 97th drops her bombs. Two bombs find their mark on a modified roll of 10 and 9. The third bomb misses on a 3. Three points of damage are caused. The 44th group brings up the rear and they fly through a flat barrage. It's a near miss on a roll of 6 for no damage. The 44th will get no modifiers for their dice rolls as the plus 2 modifier for the M30s is canceled out by the minus two from our event card. The 44th group drops their bomb load. And it's another failed bomb run. No bombs strike the target and no damage is caused. The groups leave the airfield with only three points of damage to show for it. Frustrated, our bomber fleet turns for home and we draw an event card. The card is German Fuel Shortage, which means all future bandit attacks will do so with one less turn. The fleet flies over Hex 10, and the German squadron there is activated once again. A BF-110 group is sent after us, and we roll for the bandit placement. The roll is a 6, and the 110 will attack the 97th bomb group. The 110 counter calls for three attacks. However, our event card removes one of those attacks, so the bandit will only attack twice. The 110 fires away and misses on a 5, modified to 4 for B-17 durability. The 97th will now attack with a plus 4 air-to-air -air modifier, and we add plus 1 for the 110's negative durability rating for a final plus 5 modifier. The 97th fires roll is a 7, enough to destroy the 110 on a modified roll of 12. We move the bandit's disrupted counter to 5, and we remove one squadron from the map. Since the bombers are currently in hex 10, we'll remove the marker from that space. The 97th also receives one experience point for the bandit's destruction. And our bomber fleet makes it home safely. The enemy airfield received three points of damage, which falls into the light damage range. We replace the numbered counter with a light damage marker and place the airfield card back in the target row. Our first mission of the month was a poor one. No victory points were awarded, but the 97th did shoot down a bandit, which gives them two experience points. The 305th, 44th, and 4th Fighter Group all received one experience point. While it is tempting to go back and finish off airfield number 6, we're going to go after a different airfield target instead. Our second mission will be against airfield number 1 in Abbeville, France. The target is in Hex 11, a short hop across the channel. Flak over the target is light, but a bit more accurate than other airfields. We're allowed three bombers for the mission, and we'll need to do 14 points of damage to destroy the target, the most of any of our current airfield targets. But we do have that plus two target modifier to help us out. The 91st group will lead the mission, followed by the 92nd and the 301st. We arm all bombers with M30s, and we place our mission counters on the maps. We roll for the German response, 
and it's a 5, modified to 3, for another poor response. Our bomber fleet forms up over England, and we draw an event card. The draw is Fleet Resupply, and we gain three SO points. We now have a total of four. The bombers arrive over the airfield, and one German squadron is activated. However, we draw another No Bandit counter, and the groups continue on unscathed. The German squadron is flipped to its rearming side, and our groups line up for their bomb runs. The 91st leads the way, and she flies through a flat barrage. And she takes a hit on a 9, modified to 8 for durability, and one point of damage is caused. The 91st will be bombing with a plus 4 modifier, plus 2 for the target, and plus 2 for the M30s. The group drops their bombs. And it's a poor result. Only one bomb hits on an 8 for one point of damage. The other two bombs miss on modified rolls of 7. Next up is the 92nd, and she flies through her flat roll. And the flat gunners miss wide on a 1, modified to 0 for durability. The 92nd will also bomb with a plus 4 modifier, plus 2 for the target and plus 2 for the M30s. The B-17s loose their bombs. Two bombs find their mark on rolls of 14 and 9 for three more points of damage. One bomb misses on a 7. The recruits of the 301st line up for their runs and weather a flak barrage and she comes through unharmed on a roll of four, modified to three for durability. The 301st will bomb with an overall plus three modifier, plus two for the target, plus two for the M30s, and a minus one air to ground modifier. The 301st salvos her bombs, and it's a precision strike. All three bombs hit for maximum damage, two on modified 10s and one on a modified 11. Six points of damage are added for a final total of 10. Our bomber fleet turns for home and we draw an event card. And it's commander killed check. Since the 91st group took damage, we'll have to roll for Ray's survival at the end of the mission. Our groups make it home and we roll for the commander kill check. And the roll is a 10. Commander Ray has been killed, and we remove him from the game. Airfield 1 has 10 damage points, which places it in the heavy damage range. So we replace the numbered damage marker with a heavy damage marker, and place the card back in the target area. It was another poor mission. All three groups receive one experience point. We fail to destroy the target, and the 91st loses Commander Ray. However, one point is all that's needed to promote both the 92nd, who are now skilled, and the 301st, who are now green. We have one more mission to perform, and that's an anti-submarine mission. This is the reason why I decided to use only three bombers for our first mission. The 93rd group will get the honor of going after our remaining U-boat. As revealed in earlier videos, we only need to roll a modified 7 or higher to destroy the U-boat. The 93rd has no air-to-ground modifier, so we'll have to roll at least a 7 to destroy it. And the roll is a 5. Not enough to destroy the U-boat. However, the 93rd does receive one experience point for the mission. Finally, we move the calendar marker to week two, 
and our missions for the first week of October are now complete. Our first missions of the new month were completely ineffective. We lost a commander, we destroyed no targets, we earned no victory points, not even our anti-submarine mission was a success. The only silver lining in this otherwise terrible week was one German squadron was removed from the map, two bomber groups were promoted, and we heavily damaged one of the German airfields, which will make it easier to destroy next week and we will definitely be destroying it next week. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk again soon.